name isn't Martha, but I do have an Aunt May. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars action figure review on the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Star Wars 6 inch black series Obi-Wan Kenobi. I really like the packaging over here, we get the huge image of Obi-Wan. Uh, on the side right here, there's a read up on Obi-Wan Kenobi, if you want to read it, pause it now. And then on the back, you can see Tatooine right there, it says Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then on this side, it's just a bunch of gray, it says Obi-Wan Kenobi, you get Star Wars, the black series at the top, not much at the bottom. And then you can open it up right here, we get these two Velcro attachments right here, and then you can see Obi-Wan Kenobi right there. Ooh, he has an Anakin and Obi-Wan lightsaber. And then right there, you can see the message from Leia Organa. So if you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. All right, oh yeah, one last thing. You can lift this up right over here. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. So if you want to just put this aside or something or hang it up on the wall, you can close this, put this on display. Makes it a very nice display piece, huh? All right, yeah. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Obi-Wan Kenobi out of the packaging, and I'm excited to finally have a Sir Alec Guinness version of Obi-Wan Kenobi over here. I'm very stoked about that, and I really like this hologram feature that we get with the Princess Leia over here. This is really cool. You just press a button right there, and it has lights and sounds. Very, very awesome. Now, this Obi-Wan Kenobi does have a removable robe, which I like. You can fit it onto the Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan Kenobi. He also comes with two lightsabers, but unfortunately, one of them broke on me, and it was the one that I liked the most. Ah! I'm so bummed out about that, damn it. Hopefully I can get a replacement, but I don't think it's possible at all. But anyway, let's take a closer look at the Princess Leia hologram, and then we'll take a closer look at Obi-Wan Kenobi. So you can see Hasbro did a fantastic job with this tiny little hologram figurine right here. It looks just like Princess Leia. She's got her little hood on and everything. Very, very cool. I really like that a lot. It looks awesome really happy with this. And looking on the back right over here, I believe these were drinks or something on the Millennium Falcon? I can't really remember. Let me know in the description below. We got some nice bronze coloring right over here. Looking pretty nice. Then this actual display piece of this table does have a little bit of color variation. It's very subtle. I don't know, if I dim things down, you can see the color variation right there. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, so on to the light up feature. Uh, she does make two different sounds. So one of them, when you push this down right here, all she says is, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. And then the other one, she actually says the whole message. So let's see which one it's going to be. Senor Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person. But my ship has fallen under attack, and I'm afraid my mission to bring you to Alderaan is Spain. I have placed information vital to the survival of the Rebellion into the memory systems of the Tsar II unit. My father will know how to retrieve it. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh man, isn't that hot the way she says, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi? I don't know, she's got that little breathiness to her voice and everything. Great delivery right there. And if you just want to hear the help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, just... Help me Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. Ooh, I like that. And then if I hit it one more time, it's going to give the whole message again. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. And it doesn't now look like I can make her stop. If I just take this out, you can see the light blinking in there. So that's pretty neat. And you can see the speaker right at the bottom. So, yeah, it's pretty loud. And then to show this hologram next to the R2 unit that she's talking about. Here she is next to R2-D2 from the Black series. And, I don't know, I feel like R2-D2 is a little on the short side compared to how big the hologram is. Now, before taking a look at Obi-Wan, here's his lightsaber, which is broken! Oh, man. Now, I did heat this up with a hairdryer and everything because it was very stuck in there. And it came out alright, but then while I was posing the figure around and taking pictures, it just warped this little nub right over here and then eventually it just came off so you can see that tiny little piece right over here that used to be attached to that and now it will not plug into the lightsaber handle which frustrates the hell out of me oh god and I put a little bit of 3M tape in there to see maybe if that would work so now I gotta pick that out but hey the lightsaber handle itself looks pretty nice you know looks pretty good what really bums me out about this is this is my favorite color blue for any of the blue lightsabers that have come out for the Hasbro 6 inch black series uh, comparing it to the Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber, you can see how much lighter this one is compared to this one. I mean, really, yeah, that's a huge difference right there. Then for the handle comparison, you can see the Ewan McGregor one had the little port sticking out right over there instead of the little loopy, so you can see the differences right over there. And we also get an Anakin Skywalker lightsaber, which doesn't look too bad. 
This also has a darker color blue, but I felt like the one that came for Obi-Wan was just a little bit thicker, just a little bit darker blue. So, I don't know, I may just have to swap this with that one. And then comparing the lightsaber that came with the Tatooine Luke Skywalker, which just came out not too long ago, you can see how identical they are. Now, I really like the robe on this Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. It's very easy to pull this all the way over, you know, if you want to cover his face and go, you know, is that the new one? I think that's the new one, right? I can't remember what the old one was. I'd seen the special edition so many times. But anyway, I think the older one was like a scarier roar, right? Instead of like a high-pitched wallop. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Looking at the rest of this robe, you can see some of the rubber band lines right here from it being in the package. You know, he has that on his arms a little bit. But I really like this a lot. It looks very good. And it's very soft. And it's very easy to take off. If you want to put this on the Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan Kenobi, you can do that, as you can see in this picture right here. But taking it off, you just throw his arms back. And then just remove all this right there. And then there we go. And then we got a more relaxed Obi-Wan Kenobi. I really think Hasbro did a great job at capturing the likeness of Sir Alec Guinness. I think this looks really good. I like it a lot. Just one little paint application flaw that bothers me some. And that's the white hair kind of bleeding onto the forehead. Yeah, they kind of missed the mark right over there. That bothers me. But the eyes look pretty good. I like all the wrinkles in his face. I like the beard. He even has his big Alec Guinness ears right there. So, yeah. And that's not too bad. We get some color variation in the beard and in the hair as well. So, I think this is a very good looking head sculpt. I really like it. He has the bright blue eyes and everything too. They did a really good job with this. I'm very pleased. I like it. Yeah, I have to say I dig it. Now looking at the rest of the figure, there's not a whole lot going on, but there's not a whole lot to ask for either. We've got slight color variation over here. You can see the texturing right here throughout his robe. A little bit of a rip right over there. You can see that. And the fabric texture changes underneath that piece, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, I kind of wish they added a little bit of coloring over there. Looking on this side, a little bit tattered here and there. And the flesh tone for the hands looks pretty good. And the belt looks really nice. Really liking that color variation with the black over the brown. Nice gold right over there. Looking at the back, you know, very nice texturing. I, I really like that attention to detail. As you brighten things up, you don't really see it as well. But yeah, you can see this kind of reminds me of like a priest, right? I don't know, just the way that hangs down. Then he has his legs underneath right here with just solid brown and some nice texturing and everything underneath. So you don't really see his legs much. I had no idea what his boots actually looked like, what he was wearing underneath there. So anyway, that looks pretty good. And he still has the peg holes under his feet. Now, as far as articulation goes, Obi-Wan Kenobi can look all the way up and he can move his head all the way down. He has side to side movement over here and not much neck pivot at all. His shoulders move outward very far. You can move them forward. Single jointed elbow right there meets at 90 degrees, rotates at the elbow, wrist moves side to side, and they both hinge up and down. Same thing with this side right here. He does have this waist joint that can turn side to side. Uh, he has a little bit of pivot in that waist joint, and he can crunch forward and move back a bit. So that's pretty sweet. And I want to see if there's another joint in there. If there's a, Yeah, there's actually another waist joint right underneath that, too. It's really hard to see, but it's churning differently than this piece right here. You see how I have this turned to the side and then I could still turn this waist joint. So he has this, it's like two waist joints right there. It's kind of a trip. So waist joint underneath the belt and a waist joint above the belt. Uh, his hips can move all the way out sideways because he has these slits on the side of his robe. Uh, he can only kick forward uh, that much, I guess, and back even less. He has an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. Uh, the ankles move down, up, and he does have ankle pivot. I'm measuring this Obi-Wan Kenobi figure without his robe, of course. He's standing right at six inches is tall. And then here's our new Obi-Wan Kenobi compared to our Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan Kenobi and then our Tatooine Luke Skywalker. Then here's Obi-Wan Kenobi next to the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader and Yoda. And I know Obi-Wan Kenobi is supposed to be shorter than Darth Vader, but I didn't know that Darth Vader was that much taller. And then here's Obi-Wan Kenobi next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, I love how you can make really cool loud noises. Can you teach me? Huh? Huh? Really. Now one thing I didn't mention is that getting this figure posed without the hood on, so if you wanted him posed with just the hood back over here, it is a bit tricky. The hood just wants to keep flopping up and staying over his head, so that's a little bit of a gripe. But I really do like this figure, it's like completing a puzzle with this original cast from the first Star Wars movie, you know? So what, we need C-3PO, we got Princess Leia coming out soon, and that may just cover it. So anyway, I really like this figure, hope it arrives at retail shortly, right? They're gonna re-release this retail, you just know it. Anyway, hope you guys
guys enjoyed this review, if you did, please hit the like button. Click any of the boxes popping up over here for more shirt all over your face. If you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please do so by clicking that button right over there. If you want to check out yesterday's review on the Mezco Toys 112th Collective Armored Batman, check out that review right over there. And if you want to see my review before that, go ahead and check that button right over there. And then if you want to stay in touch with me, follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also check out ShardimusPrime.net for the Shardimus Prime t-shirts. We've got Not Dolls over there. And if you want to see the latest in Star Wars news, you can find it all at JediInsider.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ugh.